enterprise or hosting provider. You'll benefit from HP's announcement on today's HP Tech Talk. Welcome to HP Tech Talk. I'm Andy McCaskey from STR News, and in this continuing series, we look at the ways that HP is defining a new style of IT. Of course, we talk to HP experts from servers and networking and storage and cloud. And in fact, that's where we're going to focus today for an exciting new announcement coming from HP. And uh, our guest is Mike Verdugo from Roseville, California. Mike, what is uh, HP uh, announcing uh, here uh, in, in this particular episode? Well, I'm happy to, uh, to say that we are about ready to start shipping our next generation of the cloud system portfolio. We actually uh, made an initial announcement last December at HP Discover on the next generation cloud system, and we are going to be shipping it. It will go general availability and be on our price list to order as of uh, March 31st, just coming up next Monday. So we are uh, announcing some major new enhancements to the solution, um, and I'm happy to go through those today. Mike, could you give us some idea how this new announcement fits in with HP's overall cloud offerings? Sure. Uh, HP's overall cloud portfolio consists of two major pillars. So on on the one side, we've got a... uh, a complete set of build and operate solutions, including hardware, software, and services for customers, both enterprises and service providers to to build out their own cloud solutions. We've also got a uh, a comprehensive portfolio of of consume cloud services solutions. So that would include managed cloud offerings from our service organization, as well as our own public cloud offerings, similar to what Amazon's got. So where cloud system fit is on the first pillar, and that is the the build and operate uh, solution. Um, Cloud system is a fully integrated, and what I mean by that is hardware, software, and services solution for customers to build, operate, and manage their cloud uh, environment. It's used by many enterprises around the world to uh, implement private cloud solutions. Uh, it's got a very comprehensive set of what we call bursting capabilities to allow customers to burst to various public cloud destinations. And it's also used by service providers to build their own in-house um, cloud offering that's used to, to sell services externally. Are, are so, there any new features that were specifically implemented in this as a part of this announcement? Absolutely. So cloud systems been out there in the market for about three years now. We've got um, uh, over 1,200 unique customers around the world. It's a very successful portfolio, but we are now happy to announce that we are about ready to release some, some major new capabilities and enhancements to the solution. So I break those down into, into three categories. One is we've done a lot of work on the, um, on the user experience side of cloud, cloud system. We've got a new, uh, what we call a self-service uh, marketplace portal and a new designer that provides a very seamless and cohesive user experience, whether you're a a consumer of the cloud services and then say a line of business customer, or you're a a cloud service designer and you need to be able to go in and implement a new service. So we've made major enhancements to the uh, user experience in those two areas. We've also um, done a lot of work to integrate with um, what we call HP OneView, which is our next generation recently announced um, converged infrastructure management tools. So if you are a customer using HP converged infrastructure or it could be a heterogeneous type environment, um, you will see the same administration experience both at the hardware level as well as at the, uh, the cloud services level. I would, so that's, so that's when, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I would think that the self-service uh, capabilities would be particularly exciting for, uh, for many customers uh, as well as the increased management capability. Absolutely. Um, one of the things is, as successful as cloud system has been in the market, one of the uh, the uh, pieces of feedback we've gotten consistently from our, our end customers as well as our, our channel partners is we need to do some work to, to increase the ease of use in terms of how new services are implemented and how customers can access those services. So 
Yes, we've, we've had a, a, a very comprehensive beta program of this next generation of cloud system and gotten tremendously positive feedback from our end customers and our channel partners that it will be much more simple to deploy and consume cloud services with this new solution. Which uh, type of customer did you have in mind? Was this uh, solely focused on enterprise or were you looking at hosting providers or SMB types of applications? Uh, definitely uh, both enterprises and hosting providers. Um, SMB, we do have customers that use uh, cloud system, although it's probably more the, uh, the mid-market, larger SMB type customers, just given the type of solution we've got. Uh, but definitely both uh, you know, mainstream enterprises and hosting providers. Let me let me also add a couple of other things you asked about you know new capabilities in the in the solution. So the other thing we've done is we have uh, you know announced about a year ago that we are committed to OpenStack as the, the foundational common platform across our entire HP Cloud portfolio, and we are we've also announced something called HP Cloud OS, which is our OpenStack uh, technology foundation that we build into all of our products. So so this next generation of cloud system is built on HP Cloud OS um, OpenStack technology. So what we've done is we have taken the, uh, you know, OpenStack distribution capabilities from the community, which, which by the way, we, we uh, you know, uh, contribute significantly to that community. And we've added HP value add on top to differentiate and optimize for HP uh, cloud system. So um, CloudOS is built in to uh, this next generation of cloud system. Customers can uh, provision and implement cloud OS and OpenStack based resource pools for, for infrastructure and application services. And they can also continue to manage and operate their existing cloud services, which were built on you know, previous solutions from HP called Cloud System Matrix. Yeah. How does this help uh, a customer protect against lock-in? Great question. So that's what OpenStack's all about, right? It's a, it's a very, it's an open industry standard uh, mechanism for uh, building and operating uh, cloud environments um, for infrastructure services. And that's exactly why HP, you know, given our heritage of open industry standard, we do not want our customers to be locked in um, to proprietary methods. So what we're going to do is We'll continue to to enhance the OpenStack solution in a in a, in a non proprietary way, meaning nothing we do to to optimize uh, this solution for HP offerings will in any way make it inoperable with with competitive products. Right? We know that we'll be operating in environments with all the major players out there. So so that's what OpenStack's all about: is to avoid vendor lock in, and, and we'll we'll be um, you know delivering that across our portfolio, including cloud system. Well, I know that this is certainly going to be a lot of interest at uh, HP Discover uh, coming up here shortly. Are you going to be uh, uh, lecturing or holding one of the sessions there? I will be at HP Discover. I, I likely will be presenting one of the uh, breakout sessions on cloud system, and I look forward to uh, the opportunity. Excellent. Uh, in the meantime, where can uh, people go for more information about HP uh, cloud offerings? Yes, you can uh, go out to the uh, the website and the URL hp.com slash go slash cloud system for lots more information about the newest generation of HP cloud system. Excellent. Well, Mike, thanks very much for joining us here and thanks to you folks for joining us as well. Tune in next time for more information from HP on HP Tech Talk.